This is the most important chart for warehouse and supply chain managers. The inventory to sales ratio shows how much merchandise is kept in warehouses available for sale. It's the value of inventory divided by monthly sales. These are monthly numbers then on the y-axis. During the pandemic, it collapsed to 1.15. 1.15 here means one month and four days. So about 35 days of inventory available economy-wide. Then came the glut as ships were full of merchandise that nobody wanted anymore, like exercise pants and home gyms. So it went up to 45 days or so. Now it's trending back to the recent historical trend, 1.35, which is about 40 days. These do not seem like big differences, but they are. It costs a lot of money to build a warehouse and staff it, or to lease a warehouse, and then hire security and the people to move merchandise around. Insurance against fire and theft. Obsolescence is a major problem, especially in electronics and fashion. Big, bulky items take up a lot of space, and they're usually low profit margin as well, which explains why there was a run on toilet paper, and stores literally had none of it sitting around. You don't want an expensive warehouse full of cheap toilet paper at 15 cents a roll. The difference economy-wide of that five days difference is tens of billions of dollars a year in cost savings. Companies are now able to predict shopper demand and fewer supply chain disruptions. And that first part is true, but supply chain disruptions are by their nature unpredict. Wars, major storms, piracy, major policy shifts, pandemics. But what is predictable is the cost of keeping merchandise that does not sell or which will not sell for two more months. Those costs are knowable and inventory managers are paid to keep those costs down. So last year they were cutting inventory levels. Major retailers like Walmart updated their forecasting and shifted to smaller shipments. They can predict lead times better and Walmart was cutting inventory even while they were growing sales. You will wait unless it's something you must have and that you know you can turn at a large markup which includes the tariff. So there is a lot of uncertainty which is putting a big dent in production from factories that build for the U.S. markets. 